Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do an All Signs General Collective reading. We're gonna go Aries through Pisces. We're gonna take a look and see what is going on with the person you are not in contact with. I will write the timestamps down so you can check out your sun, moon, or rising. We're gonna start with you, Aries. What is the overall energy with the person you're not in contact with? Wild side, there's a side to you I haven't seen and I want to. I wanna see you let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun. So this person is thinking about while you're in separation or no contact, that there's a side of you that they feel they wanna to get to know. They see you as somebody who is maybe reserved, somebody who holds back, maybe somebody who, they feel like intuitively you are somebody who's a little bit wild on the inside, but you don't like to always show people that. And that's how they see you. How they feel about you is that you are maybe not wanting to show them that. And that could be why they step back and they are not communicating with you. It's because they feel like consciously you're making the effort not to open up to them, not to do fun, adventurous things with them. Their intentions is that they are hoping to renew this connection at some point. They are very drawn to you and very attracted to you. So their actions is they are watching to see if you are actually entertaining someone else. If you are posting pictures with somebody else, we do have that three of swords at the bottom of the deck. So they're curious to know if you are talking to someone else while the two of you are not in communication. Taurus. Okay, Taurus, let's see what is the energy for the person you're not in contact with. Showing out, I'm acting like I don't care about what happened between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. So this person is trying to act like it's no big deal, but deep down they are just putting on a front for everyone around them. So let's see how they see you, Taurus. They see you as somebody that is very attractive, somebody who has the potential to really create whatever opportunities you want when it comes to connections. How they feel about you, they see you as the 10 of Pentacles. You're the full package. You're very attractive. You're very abundant. You contribute a lot to your connections and you are somebody who brings a lot of value for long-term success. So maybe you walked away from this person, Taurus, and now they're recognizing that they do care. They're acting like they don't care that you broke up with them, but they really do. As far as their intentions, they are gonna hold back because they know since you broke up with them that they don't have any control over the situation now. Their actions is they want to try to reach out to you. They're hoping that maybe you would be interested in talking to them. They are trying to discover if you are with somebody else or not or what is going on in the connection because this is somebody that you left them out in the cold, you completely left them, and they're feeling very insecure about it. So when their friends or people ask them like, how is an so-and-so, and they are saying, with? no, I don't care about that person, blah, blah, blah. They're trying to act like it's no big deal. Okay, Gemini. Let me shut my MacBook so Siri does not try to start again. Gemini. Okay, Gemini, let's see. What is the energy of the person you are not in contact with? Have my kids. I want to have a family with you. I know you'd be amazing parent. I dream of the day I can experience raising a family together. So Gemini, did you break up with this person and you're in no contact with them because they weren't giving you what you wanted? Maybe they weren't investing enough time and energy into the connection and you felt like you had to walk away from them? This person sees you as somebody that is a great opportunity, somebody that they feel very sensitive when they think about you because of the potential they felt like was gonna happen between the two of you. They do feel like you have made plans elsewhere that maybe you're progressing towards someone else, another connection, 
or somewhere else in your life that you've made that decision that you don't want to be with them. Their intentions are to try to really find the meaning behind why you broke up with them to see if there was any way that the two of you could possibly come back together, renew things, maybe work things out. Their actions are they are feeling very inspired about what the future is. We do have that Eight of Cups in reverse. So they want to try one more time, Gemini. Even though they're fearing that you may reject them, they still think about you and the potential of the future of the two of you together. So they may try to come back around to heal things with you. Cancer, 520. Okay, Cancer, let's see what is the energy of the person you're not in contact with. Showing out. I'm acting like I don't care about what happened between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. So they're putting a front in front of other people. They're not wanting to acknowledge that things are over. They're a little bit obsessed with not letting people see their vulnerable side. As far as how they see you, they're very attracted to you. They feel like you're very confident and you really do get recognized for your beauty that maybe you have a lot of potential and a lot of options that have come towards you. How they feel about you is you are somebody who's very confident. You know exactly what you want. You're very disciplined and you're somebody who's very generous and very prosperous within your own right. Their intentions is that they want to try to have direct communication with you. They want to clear some things out of their mind, things that are bothering them that they're not letting anyone know is bothering them deep down. Yeah, as far as their actions, as they do want to have this opportunity to have a conversation with you, they are very defensive, especially if you ended the connection cancer. This is somebody who wants to try to be put on the defense of defending why the two of you should actually be together. They are missing you and they're wanting the opportunity to openly communicate communicate this with you. Leo. Okay, Leo, let's see. What is the energy of the person you're not in contact with? Let me go. You deserve all the good things in this world. And right now, I am not in a space to give you the type of connection you deserve. Live your life and let me go. So, Leo, your person is acknowledging that the unhappiness and the connection is their fault that they know you deserve so much more they want you to continue on with your life even though you're in separation they think highly of you but they know you deserve so much more than what they can actually give you as far as they see you they see you as somebody who is a rising star somebody who is really hopeful and optimistic and someone who's really pouring into healing since the two of you've been in no contact they also see you as somebody who really is pouring into yourself you could be happy as far as how they feel about you they feel like it's it's over that they have to accept that it's finally the end that there is not going to be a transformation of revival as far as their intentions they're still committed to watching you and observing what you've been up to if you're on social media they could be watching your social media but they are trying to gain the wisdom and knowledge to believe that they need to let you go their actions is they want to be able to give you this love and this compassion but what you don't see is they're actually just addicted to it but they're not going to take any action they're very codependent on your energy Leo and they're in this kind of temptation energy but they're not going to actually take the action they do still love you they still have a lot of feelings and emotions for you but they are trying to acknowledge that they need to try to let you go at least they have in the physical realm but they have not energetically yet Virgo Okay, Virgo, let's see what is the energy of the person you're not in contact with. I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. So this person is trying to disconnect from the situation. They're trying to recognize that the nurturing and taking care of this connection is something that is prevented them from blocking this from growing 
as far as how they see you, they see you as somebody who's very ambitious, somebody who's very driven for success, whether it's your career or growing a connection. They see that you are somebody who will defend what you want at all cost. How they feel about you is that you are somebody who does challenge them and that's something that they don't know how to handle. They don't know how to take that. So them disconnecting is their way of protecting themselves because they do see that you feel they feel about you as you're very persistent on getting what it is that you truly want and desire. Their intentions is to allow themselves to create their own independence. They're determined to try to find a new happiness, a new joy in their own life during this time period. Their actions is they are going to be more practical and really understand that they are not in a position to be able to provide what it is that you want when it comes to this connection. We do have a lot of conflict, a lot of differences. There could be a lot of of agreeing to disagree and this person is just disconnecting from the situation because they realize these issues have not been resolved. They're not able to give you what you truly need, Virgo. Libra. Okay, Libra, what is the overall energy of the person you're not in contact with? Libra. Attached to my ex, I'm attached to my ex emotionally, physically, and or spiritually. I need time and space to break this connection. So Libra, this person you're not in contact with is still energetically, physically, spiritually, and emotionally connected to somebody from their past. As far as how they see you, they see you as somebody who is wanting to be spontaneous and have new adventures in life and somebody who is really taking a leap of faith and doing whatever it is that you want, Libra. How they feel about you, they feel you are somebody who really does want to invest in connections that can succeed and be long term and give you the commitment in the future. As far as their intentions, they are hoping that you are evolving and taking action towards the things that you want to grow in your life. And as far as their actions is they're just surrendering to what they need to do right now. They're not trying to pour into the connection at this time because they know that they cannot give you what you need physically, emotionally, or spiritually. They are sacrificing their own wants and desires and wanting you to find your own happiness because they know that they're not able to give that to you. So they're just trying to let go and look at things from their own perspective. We do have that passion and willpower. They are trying to find the inner strength to try to figure out how to let go of these attachments they have for their ex. Scorpio. Scorpio, what is the energy for the person you're not in contact with? No one compares. No matter how many people I've met and experiences I have, there's no one that compares to you. So Scorpio, if this person left you because of a third party or because of they were talking to other people, they were very indecisive, they're recognizing now that nobody compares to you. They see you as somebody who maybe had difficulties making a decision when it came to them and they could see that maybe they weren't able to make the option as you clear as day how they feel about you is that you are somebody who's very stable somebody who wants long-term commitment wants to maybe get married have a family and they are recognizing that you felt that you deserve that they were not able to give that to you their intentions now is to really try to recognize that they didn't give any security in the past and now they want to be a little bit more generous and understanding that They've tried to replace what they had with you and they're realizing that nobody else compares. So now they are in this energy of feeling a little bit sensitive and wanting to reach out and see if there's an opportunity of the two of you to possibly reconcile. We do have that six of cups, so they are thinking about the happy memories they shared with you that they've not shared with anyone else. They're very nostalgic right now thinking about that past and it is making them want to create more memories with you in the future. So they may try to reach out to you, Scorpio, because they're recognizing now when they disconnected, they thought they could find someone else or or the other people or other options were better and now they know that that's not true Sagittarius 
Okay, Sagittarius, what is the overall energy of the person you're in no contact with? Sagittarius. Is it true? I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. So Sagittarius, your person that you're not in contact with feels like you've already moved on from them. And they feel like even though the two of you are not talking, that is a concern to them. They see you as somebody who is makes them very happy, that you please them and you're somebody who's warm and caring and you really are someone who wants success in your life when it comes to relationships. They feel that you are they feel that you are somebody who is driven to go towards whatever it is that you want. That you have this inner strength and this inner focus on going towards something that's very passionate. Their intentions is they want to try to come towards you at some point, Sagittarius, because they are trying to follow their heart that they don't want you to move on. Yeah, their actions is they are going to reach out to you at some point. They want to have this opportunity, but they are kind of um, having these little new perspectives. They're thinking about things and they're trying to accept what happened and they're trying to try to come back around and maybe try to reinvent the wheel in this connection. They may come towards you with some compliments, some generous kind words of wisdom for you to try to butter you up a little bit and see if you would even be warm and opening to let them know are you dating someone else or not. They want to know if they still have an opportunity with you Sagittarius. Capricorn, what is the overall energy of the person in no contact for Capricorn's person? What is their energy? Gaslighting you. I've been lying to and gaslighting you. You weren't crazy. You were right. I just wasn't strong enough to admit it. So Capricorn, this person feels or they know that they gaslit you. They didn't tell you the truth. They told you what you wanted to hear because they knew it would make you feel good and it would keep the communication open. Maybe they were trying to string you along. They see you as somebody who is a movement type person, someone who likes to openly communicate, likes to talk, also maybe likes to make quick decisions. How they feel about you, they're very passionate on an intimate level. They're very impulsive of wanting to be with you intimately or they feel you are somebody who likes to move very fast when it comes to the bedroom. Their intentions is they're moving a little bit slow. They may wanna take a little bit of responsibility for trying to gaslight you, Capricorn. Their actions, they're not going to take any right now. They are accepting that what they did caused the defeat, especially if you ended things, Capricorn. They are accepting the loss for the betrayal that they did for all the things that they said that were not true. They created their own struggles in this relationship because they didn't value what it was at the time. Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, what is the energy of the person you're not in contact with? Aquarius. Run away. Would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. So Aquarius, did you break up with this person because of you were not happy in the connection? Maybe you felt like they were never going to commit to you, so you broke up with them, and now you decided not to talk to them. This person is wanting to run away. They see you as their happily ever after. You are their long-term commitment that they want. They see you as the full package. How they feel about you is that maybe you were juggling too many things, too many priorities, and that they weren't a priority to you. Their intentions is they want to complete the cycle of no contact. They want to maybe come towards you. If there's a distance, they want to travel to come towards you. Their actions is they really want victory and success. They want to be recognized for the time and the energy that they put into it. They are coming in with this energy of, impulsiveness they are unpredictable about what they're going to say but they are feeling the nervousness that they need to say something because they don't want there to be silence anymore Pisces okay Pisces what is the overall energy of the person you're not in contact with
this isn't goodbye. I don't want to walk away, but it's what's best for me and us right now. This isn't goodbye. We will be together soon. So your person knows that this is not over, but they are using their intuition, which is guiding them to take this break or have this silence right now. They see you as somebody who maybe is hurting also, somebody who has a lot of deep wounds from your own past, maybe even wounds from this connection. They see that you are also probably accepting the loss right now. How they feel, they feel you are someone who is very smart, somebody who subconsciously has known that maybe things needed to end for right now, that this break is something that is needed. They feel that you are somebody who has high morals and values and can appreciate the time and the silence during this transitionary period. They also feel that you are somebody who's very intuitive, that maybe the both of you communicate together their intentions they do want to have a new beginning they want to create the potential of growth at some point again to have new beginning their actions is once they work through what they're working through they are focused on their career right now then they want to be able to come towards you and take this leap of faith we got that fool at the bottom of the deck being hidden so they are going to want to have a new beginning at some point this is something that will happen you won't be expecting it. it'll kind of blindside you a little bit when they do reach out to you because it is going to be something that they're going to do spontaneously when they are working through during this silence 